How's it going fellow slayers? Hope today is going very well for you so far. In this video we're going to talk about the Doom Hunter and what could be his origins and role that he could have in Doom Eternal. This was requested by some subscribers on the channel as well as there being new footage of the Hunter in action. The Doom Hunter is one of my favorite new enemies in Doom Eternal and can't wait to fight him. Before we get started here is a quick message from one of my sponsors. Amino Apps is a great place to explore many topics and trends that fit your needs. It allows you to be creative and explore new ways to express yourself. Unlike other platforms, Amino Story Creators are making content about topics you're interested in rather than uploading stories about their drive to the mall. Want awesome Doom content? They've got it. Want gaming tutorials? They've also got them. These stories are like action-packed one to two minute YouTube videos and I'm really liking the format. Amino also has cool communities to check out like the Doom community who has a lot of followers so far and is a great place to get to know other fans. If you're creative, like new things, and want to build a close-knit community, then Amino is for you. You can search for my page by typing Rip and Tear Gaming in the search bar and view my stories and topics I will be discussing. I am very thankful for Amino reaching out to me and allowing me this opportunity to branch out and be creative in a different way. I am coming up on my year mark and want to celebrate with a giveaway of sorts and to support my Amino page, so stick around to the end of the video to know more about that. The Doom Hunter was first revealed quite some time ago, QuakeCon 2018 to be exact, and has built up a lot of hype for Doom Eternal. In that reveal, Hugo Martin talked about some concept art and then the arch enemy of the Slayer, the Doom Hunter. In one of my earlier videos, I talked briefly about the Doom Hunter, mostly because there's not a whole lot of info about him. There are currently a few theories floating out there about this demon, and some of them may come to light. So to begin, where does the Doom Hunter come from? Well, an obvious answer could be that he is from Hell, for the most part, but over time was built into the machine that he is by Hell or even the UAC. A theory I had a while back was that he was an arch enemy to the Slayer and they fought each other multiple times back when the Slayer was on his crusade against the Dark Realm. That could be possible and every time the Hunter was defeated, Hell pieced him back together and made him stronger each new time. It's not too far off to say that Hell uses cybernetic augmentations to enhance themselves as they could have adapted to the use of technology from the other realms they consumed. We know of course that the UAC weaponized demons, so it very well could be possible that they found the hunter as they found the ball guard demon and then pieced him into the cyber demon that the slayer defeated. From the new QuakeCon reveal of the Doom Hunter, we hear a demonic like voice say that the Doom Hunter is an Argadon hunter from the Terrors realm, who him and his species were made to hunt the Doom Slayer and the Night Sentinels. The voice also mentioned that the Doom Hunter is one of his best creations. I thought you would appreciate the century I chose. The great Argadon hunters from the Terrors. Argadons were mostly extinct with the exception of this one remaining in the possession of whoever is speaking. It's difficult to say who it is, but it could potentially be Daygrav or some other Hell Priest. He definitely knows the Slayer and created this specific Doom Hunter for the Hellwalker as a way to challenge him. The majority of the Argadons must have been killed off by either the Doom Slayer or the Night Sentinels back in the time of defending Arjun Dunur, or if they were on the offensive against Hell and the Terror's Realm. The Terror's Realm could be an entirely different dimension other than Hell, or just another location within the Dark Realm. Doom 2016 mentions the Titan's Realm, so I'm really thinking that the Terror's Realm is just another part of Hell that contained these types of demons. Argodons could have looked more like a typical demon, much like a Baron of Hell, and all of them were killed except for the one who is now the Doom Hunter. He was taken under the care of the Hell Priest and was given augmentations to fare better against the Doom Slayer. Some supporting evidence of Hell using augmentations could be from where he got his double chainsaw. The only other Doom game that had a double chainsaw was Doom 64. So what does that mean? If the Doom Slayer is indeed the same Doom guy from Doom 64 and the originals, then that could be where Hell got the double chainsaw to put on the Doom Hunter. Think about it. They could have just put something else on that arm. Maybe a crucible of sorts or maybe a different weapon. The double chainsaw could have been put on him after one of the first battles they had against each other in Hell. Maybe the Slayer had a close call with him, lost the chainsaw and then put the double chainsaw on the hunter as a way to intimidate the doom marine after the events of doom 64 the doom marine stayed in hell and brought with him 
all of his weapons, so he could have lost the double chainsaw while either fighting the hunter or from something else. Now of course the developers could have just used the double chainsaw design as a callback or just for the hell of it. But with each new Doom game, there seems to be more of a backstory to everything. Doom 2016 was a prime example of backstories through ways of codex entries for all the weapons, demons, etc. So I'm thinking that this theory could potentially be why the Doom Hunter has the double chainsaw and a big part of his origin. The new gameplay shows that the double chainsaw uses a type of energy, maybe Argent energy like a crucible of sorts, so they could have taken the Slayer's chainsaw and then updated it to be more effective. Another thing to mention about the Doom Hunter is the other weapon he has in his right hand. After seeing the remote detonation mod for the rocket launcher, it seems like they both have some of the same characteristics. His weapon has a chain across the top, just like the rocket launcher the Slayer uses. The weapon has a hole or opening before the end of the barrel, just like the rocket launcher, and they both have skulls on them. So my biggest guess is that this weapon is a rocket launcher, or at least something very similar to it. If that's the case, then we can start to see a pattern for the Doom Hunter. His primary weapon is similar to his arch enemy, along with the double chainsaw. Many arch enemies tend to have something similar to what the rival has as a way to one-up each other. In the quick reveal from QuickCon, if you look close enough, the Doom Hunter doesn't actually use his primary weapon, or at least we don't see it in action. It could be even just very difficult to spot. So it could be more of a long-range weapon as the micro-missiles are more for medium to close range and the chainsaw is for close quarters. He also seems to have a type of shield which will make him a bit more difficult to defeat. According to Hugo Martin from the live demo at QuickCon, we will need to use a plasma gun to disable the shields and then go to town on them. Now that we may have somewhat of an idea of where the Doom Hunter could have originated from and what to expect from him as far as his weaponry. The question is, where will we encounter him in Doom Eternal? In one of my other videos of mine, I mentioned that it could be possible to find him near the Super Gore Nest on Earth. The UAC could have dispatched him to fight the Slayer to stop his progress and to prevent him from destroying the Gore Nest. The area around the Gore Nest seems like a good place for a boss fight, but now it seems like he will show up in a different spot and be in many different locations throughout the game based on the new footage from QuakeCon. However, I have an idea on where we will meet him first in Doom Eternal. Recently, there was a new lithograph revealed as one of the giveaway prizes for the month of July in the Slayers Club. The lithograph titled Cultist is most likely where the level Cultist base will take place. We know of this from the pre-order that says there is a master level of the Cultist base level. Not to mention we can see the level in some of the gameplay in the reveals from E3 and now from the Doom Hunter reveal from QuakeCon 2019. The reason I think the encounter could take place in this location is due to the symbols that are found throughout the level are very similar to the symbols found on the Doom Hunter and the room that he has pieced together before fighting the Slayer. They may not be the exact same symbols, but the similarities in color are very close. On top of that, the color and design of the Hunter's armor and machinery match up with the scenery of the base. The base also seems to be on Earth and could be one of the few places not completely consumed or destroyed by Hell, although demons have infiltrated the base. Being a base full of cultists, it would be safe to say that Hell wouldn't have the need to completely destroy it, as it was pretty much made for them and could be a base of operation of sorts for the invasion on Earth. What do you guys think? Do you think the base is on Earth or a different location like Sentinel Prime? Let me know what you think about that one. So if we sum up everything, the Doom Hunter could have fought against the Doom Slayer for a millennia, losing each time but upgrading himself. He attached the double chainsaw on his arm by obtaining it from the Doom Marine and received the rocket launcher type weapon as a way to intimidate the Slayer. He could have been found by the UAC and given a hover tank body as a way to maneuver a lot more and to compete against the Slayer as he is more mobile this time around. It could have even been Hell that did that particular upgrade as well. He could begin his hunt at the cultist base against the Doom Slayer. The QuakeCon reveal showed him in numerous locations so we may fight him throughout our campaign against the Dark Realm and possibly Heaven. So that is my prediction of the Doom Hunter and an updated version of it, of course. What do you think of the Doom Hunter? I think it'll be an awesome fight for sure, and I can't wait to encounter the Doom Slayer's arch enemy in Doom Eternal. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if so, smash that like button and subscribe. You guys are awesome, and I might be uploading some playthroughs of other games in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. Also, be sure to check out my social media accounts as a way to stay up to date with my videos, among other content I post there. Now, as far as the giveaway, it is really simple to be entered into it. All you need to do is first subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and then set up an Amino account, then follow me there as well. You can follow the link in the description below to check out my profile and start the process of setting up your account. I will be giving away a choice of either an Amazon or Steam gift card for $50. Whoever wins can decide between the two. I will then announce the winner in two weeks in a future video of mine. Uh, you guys are all awesome and I really appreciate the support on the channel and can't believe it's already been a year by August 8th. I wouldn't be where I am without you all, so I thank you all very much. Hope you all have a good one. Until next time, fellow Slayers, don't forget to rip and tear. Peace.